I'm trying to get as much weight as I can off of it because I can't pick it up. Did you order anything for the tractor? No. I, I love this story. <laughs> it's one of those times where a battery went bad. Yeah. But it lied. I checked voltage on it. Yeah. I even asked Richard, I said, have you ever come across one that kept its voltage but yet couldn't produce the, the current? He goes, once. And I went, son of a bitch. So every time I jump started, it'd act like the starter was locked up. And it'd pull the engine down while it jump started. I'm just like, what the? I tried everything. I mean, because it was giving me 13, 12 volts. Oh, my voltmeter everywhere, 12 volts. Everything should work. Well, but when I tried to jump start it, it pulled the load down. He said, Well, it's one of two things bad battery starter. And I went, Well, let's try for battery. So I disconnected everything, pulled the battery out, took the battery I was going to put in your Ford, and put it in there, fired right up. So now you have a tractor. Yep. But I've never seen a battery go bad like that unless you bounced or something, you know, to, to actually physically damage it. I've never seen one just... Unless, all I can think of is it was close enough or something had to do with the lightning strike that evening. Because, you know, I parked it there, it was running fine. And then I go out there and nothing. I mean, nothing. But you put a voltmeter on it and it said it had 12 volts. Okay. But I put everything all back together and cleaned it all up. I'm going to take the battery in and get another battery for your truck and turn that one in for core. Okay, next January, next December, January, February, yeah. I'm going to be buying a lot of fruit trees. A lot of them. Why? A bunch. Why? A bunch. Because that three-in-one tree, 